Hi kisses and welcome back to Nina Already Eats. Today I am at an amazing restaurant called Message in a Bottle. I thought it was so cute, the entire idea of like getting a message in a bottle. You know, pirates, the ocean, water. You guys know I love the ocean and I love water. Today I am having crab cakes with asparagus, mashed potatoes with a sauce. And then I have some crackers here and some hot sauce because I am going to be having raw oysters. Now I have three different types of oysters here. I could not believe that they had three different types of oysters. Usually when you go to a restaurant, they just have one type and that's fine, which I'm fine with that. But to have three selections of three different types of oysters from three different regions, amazing. Now, I don't know if you guys like lobsters or not, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. My mouth is watering. Literally, let me go ahead and say a prayer because we're gonna get right into this meal. Let me just put this here. Oh my God, ready? Let's go ahead and get into it. Stay tuned. Are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm having a Coca-Cola here. I am in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia, and I got lucky today. The weather is really, really nice, so I got super lucky. Let me go ahead and dress up my oysters, and we can get right into this amazing, delicious meal. I love squeezing limes. I have like all kind of band-aids in my fingers, which I'm gonna take off because what is going on right now with that finger? <laughs> Can you guys imagine? So the weather here today in Atlanta, Georgia is really, really nice. Um, I don't know, I remember why I had the damn band because my finger was bleeding. I cut my finger on <laughs> a cell phone case that I was trying to take out and I thought it would have been done by now, but obviously not. Now I am in a real restaurant, duh. I am in a restaurant that's extremely busy. So you guys are gonna hear people talking and we're gonna really get the ambiance and the atmosphere. So with my oysters, I like to squeeze the lemon right on top of all of them. And then another thing that I enjoy doing is adding Tabasco sauce. Have you guys ever had raw oysters before? And if you did, did you enjoy them? And would you do it again? A lot of people won't even try oysters because they're kind of gooey and chewy and just the way they look, it's kind of, you know, scary sometimes. <laughs> But I say, give oysters a go, give raw oysters a go. And if you don't wanna try it raw, for the first time, you can go ahead and try it uh, grilled. They're usually really good grilled, so they're fully cooked, so you don't have to worry about it. I love mussels, oysters, crab meats, lobsters. And when I found this restaurant, which was recommended by a very close friend of mine, um, I reconnected with this friend of mine after, I mean, so many years. And I was like, oh my God, I would love to try the restaurant. She's like, I highly recommend it. And once she did that, I was like, wow. You know what's so crazy? I can never open these little tiny bottles of Tabasco. Oh my God, it's like trying to fight somebody. I don't want to fight nobody, I'm a lover. So I went inside the restaurant and I said, could you guys do me a favor? Could you just unlock this for me? And I didn't put the top back on. So when I got back out here, it spilled all over my scarf, but that's okay. Now, I don't like it to be too spicy. I just put a little bit of like random spice on top. Are you guys ready for this delicious treat? So, when you do a raw oyster, there's all kind of garnishes that you can add to it. Relish and all that stuff. I like lemon Tabasco sauce and whatever that little red sauce is, let's go for it. Make sure I press my food. That is delicious. What is it about raw oysters? I don't understand. Ready? We're gonna dive right into that. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Wow. That is amazing nice and spicy and tangy and it just goes straight down your throat very easy it's it tastes so good have you guys ever done 
there's something that I like to call oyster shots. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. And I'm gonna show you what an oyster shot is. Now, I don't know if this is a real thing in real life, but it's something that I like to do. So you take the oyster and you pour it into a shot glass. Let's do a few. Let's do four of them. Why not, right? Let's just do it. You guys, my mouth is literally watering like, <laughs> like crazy. So if I'm salivating, don't judge me. Oh my God, look at that. Oh. And don't mind my finger. It's like really going crazy right now. All right, I'm gonna squeeze a lime into that. Ooh, I can feel it. A little bit of sauce, hot sauce, not too much, not too much. And you know, this time around, I will add a little bit of the relish. Um, I don't want that other red sauce but then you give it a spin. Have you guys ever done this before? Are you guys ready? Oh my God. You know when your mouth starts to water, right back here you feel the tension? That's how I feel right now. Oh my God, why is my finger still going crazy? No. One, two, let's do it. That makes you want to dance. That is so good. I cook, I clean, I eat oysters. Oh my God. That is so tasty. Wow, thank you oysters for participating in my life because you are amazing, okay? Just thought I'd let you know you're amazing. Now, for the star of the show, are you guys ready? We have crab cakes. The last time I had crab cakes was, I can't even remember. Look at that. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go ahead. And taste the little sauce that they gave me. It's like a mildly, very mildly spicy mayo. So it's not really spicy, but you can feel that little, just a little hint, like a little whisper of spice in that. That is delicious. All right. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Quick little... Let's bless our food again, again. Yes, thank you for these crab cakes, amen. You guys, we're going in. Oh my God, look at that, it's so exciting. I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on top. First bite, first impressions. I've never been to this restaurant before. Here we go. What? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my God. This is a message in a bottle. This is message for your spirit, for your soul. This is so, what? First of all, can we talk about the moisture of that crab meat? Hold on, I don't want it to fall. Look at that. That's all crab meat. It's not stuffing, it's actual crab meat. Let's try it. Again. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the sauce and just spread it right on top so it's even. And I can get just that sauce all the time. Why is that so good though? Oh my God, I feel like my taste buds are dancing. Mashed potatoes, creamy. They still keep the skin. So I'm noticing that they do the, the entire potato. They have the skin and it's a red potato. Let's try it. A little bit of that sauce. Oh my God. Who is the chef? And how did they make these mashed potatoes? How did you make these mashed potatoes? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me taste it without the sauce. Mm. 
No. Wait, 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 wait. What is in these? Oh no, I'm, I'm definitely gonna ask the chef, how did you make your mashed potatoes? How do they do that? It's creamy, milky. There's no lumps in it. It's very soft. That's, that's very tasty. You know I love asparagus. You guys already know. Asparagus is kind of cheating. That's like my cheating vegetable. I love asparagus. Oh yeah. You cannot go wrong with asparagus. Listen to me. Mm -mm. You cannot go wrong with asparagus. I love how elegant and I love the flavors. The atmosphere, the ambiance here. Very nice. The ambiance and fries. I'm gonna cut these up so I can get right into it. Oh God, I'm so excited. I feel so privileged. Wow. Mm. Let's do it. Mm. Asparagus is nice and crispy. Oh. Yes. Mm. This restaurant is making my heart sing. Oh my god. The crab cake. Ooh. Let's squeeze some lemon on it. See what that do. Yes. You guys, I am literally living my best life. Ooh. When you go to a nice restaurant and you eat delicious food, you just feel good. All right, let's do it. How much crab meat does this actually have? 100%. That's 100%. There's no stuffing in here. Baby, you gotta dance to it. That is, and when I put the lemon on top, it gives it that slight gentle zing. My finger's all over the place, y'all. Don't mind my finger. Girl. Long story with the finger and why it's acting crazy. Wow, this is amazing food. It's been a long time since I've had crab cakes. So for me, you guys know I love seafood. Let's try this all over again. Mm. This is good stuff. Asparagus is one of those vegetables that purify your system. That's the best way I'm gonna put it. Mm-hmm. You know the feeling I get when I eat here? Although I am in Atlanta, Georgia. You guys, check out the description box. I'm gonna add their Yelp. I'm gonna add their phone number and address. Um, and by the way, so I don't like to talk about restaurants unless if I genuinely like their food. So let me give you a little heads up. If I film at a restaurant and I don't like their food, I will not air the video, okay? This is legit. I recommend it. I am a, yes, five stars, stars. It makes you feel like you're in Jamaica or maybe the Bahamas or Puerto Rico, um, the Virgin Islands. It makes you feel like you are literally sitting underneath the sun watching a sunset, having an amazing drink with friends or family or your loved one, maybe even your husband. That's the feeling I get from this. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful food. Okay. Yes to this. Yes to this. I co-sign. I co-sign. Mm. This is a catch a vibe type of food. Let's do it. You know, I like the idea, by the way, I had to get a little band-aid by the way guys, cause my finger was acting crazy. Um, so I realized that when you eat good food, like at the core, it kind of brings you back into your childhood. I, I don't want to 
Like, I don't want to sound weird, but does that happen to anybody else? Like, when you eat a really good, hearty meal and you can take, connect with the flavors, does it, like, ever bring you back into, maybe not your childhood, but, like, a time and place? So as I'm tasting this food, it brings me back to, like, when I visited the Bahamas or Jamaica or, like I said, Puerto Rico. It gives you that sunny sunset vibe. This is, this is good food. It's good food. Baby. That's it right there. Mmm. There is one more dish that I want to try at this restaurant. You know, you guys, I could only eat one meal a day, so. There, they have a mussels. You guys know I love green lip mussels, but they have black mussels with pasta tossed in a red sauce. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's the next dish that I'm going to try. Let me give you an idea of what the, the scenery looks like. First of all, I'm sitting outdoors. The outdoors is completely covered with, um, well, first of all, you can see everything, but the outdoors is covered with screens where the bugs won't get you. So you can really enjoy the outdoors, but inside is the full restaurant. And I'm talking about, it is beautiful. The entire concept. So when I came here, I was like, you know what? This restaurant was very thought out. They have literally messages inside of a little bottle. So it kind of gives you that romance feeling when you come here. That's the vibe that I got, which was, it was nice. I felt welcomed. There is um, the oyster um, young lady that works here. She chucks oysters or whatever. Her conversation was great. Very friendly. I didn't feel, I didn't feel like a newcomer. I felt like, okay, you're welcome to come here. So in knowing that, I, I know that I'm going to come back here and I'll probably come back here a few times, guys, whenever... I am back, you know, in Atlanta, Georgia, but the food is amazing. The, amb the ambience is nice. Um, excuse me, guys. It's 74 degrees outside. If you guys can look at what I'm seeing right now, there's family and friends and kids. Um, and they're all having like a very genuine good time. So it's a very peaceful vibe. And I'm looking forward into enjoying more moments like this for myself. I want to see the family environment. I want to see the friends. I want to see, you know, the boyfriend and the girlfriends enjoying a nice, hearty, good meal. So it, it's a nice vibe. I like this place a lot. Like, as I look around, I'm like, you know what? I could definitely come here. It's 100% good vibes. Mm. But they got me with the asparagus. <laughs> That is good stuff. Um, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really positive. I love talking to strangers and getting to know new people, tasting new food and new restaurants. It makes me happy. So I'm finally living my best life. You guys remember to stay positive, number one. Stay strong, number two. And number three, be good to yourself. And number four, eat some good food. So you can trust all of my reviews. Like I said, if I eat at a restaurant and I don't like the food, I won't even post the video. But I highly recommend this place. Check out Message in a Bottle. And I'm a paid customer. This was not a sponsored meal. It's not like they sponsored the meal for me to talk good about them. I'm honestly telling you, I'm a fully paid customer. Um, there was no discount. This food is worth it. So I highly suggest that you come here, check out Message in a Bottle. They have mussels, um, lobsters, crab meat, raw oysters, a full bar, indoor and outdoor seating, plenty of parking. You don't ever have to worry about the parking. And the staff is really, really nice. So <sighs> I feel highly blessed and highly favored. You guys stay positive, stay strong. And until next time, you can trust me and my reviews because, you know, I'm going to keep it real. The food was amazing i give this place honestly a five star you guys until next time stay positive and stay strong and remember you can send anybody a message in a bottle <laughs> bye guys one more bite for the road like why not right
I'm lying. I'm taking this to go. There's not one last bite because I'm eating this tonight. <laughs>